Hello, welcome back. It's the 14th of October and you're joining us on Linear Fisheries and we're now on Hardwick and Smith's. Uh, we got down here yesterday after a, a bit of a <laughs> hectic day. Um, we planned to go to Bluebell. Um, turned up at Bluebell when the gates opened, or just before the gates opened, about quarter to eight. And I reckon there must have been 30, 30 if not more vans um, all queued up waiting to get in. So we went in um, and a lot of the people that were there just sort of dived straight in swims rather than going to get tickets. And it was absolutely hammering it down. And That's we just, disgusting. <laughs> we just weren't feeling it. So yeah, we went from Peterborough, come down to Linear, and um, got to got here. What time did we get here? About eleven, about half eleven. 11. Um, it was quite busy, but um, there was a lot of pegs free. Uh, we went to went and had a look at Oxleys first. Um, there was quite a lot of pegs free there, but all all the fish that were showing or um, all the activity that we found was uh, all the pegs were taken. So where do we go next? Come and had a look at B one, B one, Brazenose one and two. Yeah, um, there's quite a few pegs free on B1. B2 was quite stitched up, or well, there was a lot of pegs that were booked. So yeah, we ended up on B1 yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, got all our rods out by sort of five, six o'clock, um, as it was getting dark, so we didn't really do a lot of filming setting up yesterday. Um, and last night, got to about well, just after dark, um, and yeah, all the activity that we saw in front of us that uh, made us pick those pegs just just died it just looked dead so oh we um yeah decided to move last night got all our gear packed up um, on the barrows and come round to Hardwick um, we're now in we're on sort of the road bank of Hardwick and um, where the track is and a couple of our mates are on like the main road bank um, but we haven't had nothing didn't get the rods out till That's quite late when it we got late, yeah probably about midnight and um, by the time we got everything set up and we just flicked singles out last night but, um, there's been quite a few fish shown in front of us, sort of about 40, 50 yards. So quite hopeful for a bite. But um, yeah, it's supposed to rain. We're supposed to get heavy rain all day today. So um, we'll try and get a bit of filming done. But yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to get done because because of the rain. So yeah, we'll catch up catch up with you in a bit. morning it's it's Tuesday morning now um, it's about half eight and to be honest it's been a pretty poor session um, yesterday it absolutely hammered it down all day um, couldn't really get any filming done um, and it's been pretty slow uh, we've been we've moved quite a bit over the course of the session uh, we're still on hard look at the moment but, um, yeah we're either thinking about sort of trying to induce a bite by getting some bait out or even possibly moving swims so just going to get a little bit more bait out now Kieran's reeled in he's gone over to B1 to see if he can see anything fizzing up or any signs of fish uh, we've got about four hours until until we've got to pack up and go home so good morning it's now uh, Tuesday um, we're due off today it's been a bit of a nightmare session really um, we moved from Hardwick this morning. Yesterday was, oh, it was just a complete washout really. It's a bit of a nightmare. We couldn't do any filming. Um, it just rained from like 10 o'clock in the morning until pretty much nine o'clock last night. So got up this morning, it stopped raining and it was just looking dead. No one had caught anything. I think there was two fish out yesterday. Um, my mate Lee, he had one. Um, I think it was like a maybe a low 20 or a high double. Um, he didn't weigh it because it was absolutely lashing it down. But um, yeah, we got up this morning. It was pretty dead, um, got to about nine o'clock and we thought that it was either stay on there to try and make something happen or um, yeah, pack up, have a little drive around and see if we can find any sort of signs of fish elsewhere on the complex. Um, so you're joining us now, we're back on, or we're on B2. Um, I haven't fished this lake before, but Kieran's been on here a couple of times and he's said that 
basically that they really respond to bait. So um, yeah, Kieran's behind me now, getting a load of bait out. Um, we found quite a few fish, sort of showing them fizzing. So yeah, we've just flicked two singles out, um, sort of where they're where they're fizzing, and we're now putting a load of bait out. So yeah, we'll do an update shortly, hopefully. Um, yeah, with a fish. See you in a bit. Right, just when we think it wasn't going to happen, um, middle rods ripped off. They've been showing like crazy over us um, ever since we got the rods out, really. Uh, we've got quite a bit of bait out. Um, I had one on a PVA bag, um, which hasn't gone, and this one's on a Pinapel, one of the new Baitworks baits. Um, doesn't feel massive. But yeah, there's been, um, there's been a lot of fish in front of us. I think we've only got, well, we've probably got about half an hour before I need to get off. But um, I don't know, we might have to stay a little bit longer. <laughs> that doesn't feel a bad fish actually. This one was on um, on a Ronnie uh, with a size four mugger, and the bait that we've um, been spawning out that was uh, chopped Atlantic heat and um, and marine um, with some maize and some hemp in the mix as well. Feels nice to get a bend in the rod. Hopefully, this session has been a right grueler. Yeah, it got to be the wettest conditions yesterday that I've ever fished in. We must have had two or three inches of rain, I reckon. Hugging the bottom. Not bad fish, mate. My reels don't sound too sharp after um, all that rain and yeah, stuff yesterday. Oh, it's, it's gone round a branch. Hopefully that tree doesn't go too far deep in the water. Come to daddy. Yeah, looks like it. See the pineapple sticking out of its mouth. Yep. Get in that net. net. Come on. There, <sighs> <laughs> I tell you what, that fish was well deserved. Yeah. Do I deserve one? I hope you get one, mate. Right. No. Let's get her out and um, hoist her up for the camera. 
Well, there we go. Rod's just screamed off. Everybody's getting David's fish sorted out. Quickly got a rig tied. The rod go back out and it mounted off. That's really tiny. It's probably about five pound, if that. <laughs> but it will do, mate. I don't care. But get in there. Oh. Oh my God. Get away from there. Lead's still on. Right, this needs to go in the net, Dave. Yeah. I hope the other fish don't come out. Here we go. Raise those two. So just under 10 pound on a pineapple. Cast it out to loads of fizzers this morning. Happily take this. It's been a stressful couple of days. David's got a slightly bigger one in the net. So happy days, quickly get this back out. And um, let's see what David's got. Buzzing. Here we go, 25 pound on the nodes. Yeah, well chuffed to, uh, to get off the mark. Um, Kieran's already had one as well. All the rods are back out now and um, yeah, we're getting liners again. So yeah, happy days, well chuffed. All right, let's just spin around and I'll show you the other side. It's not a bad fish for um, for B1 really, or B2 even. It's a bit lively, it's been in the retainer for like probably 10 minutes. Yeah, happy days. Kieran's just getting a few stills now. We'll slip it back and um, yeah, there might be time for another one. Fingers crossed. Yeah, catch up in a bit. Back she goes. Wicked. Let's get another one. Right, that's pretty much it. Um, rods have been static for probably about 10 or 15 minutes now. We have had nothing since uh, since the last one came out. We've had the liner, but um, it's pretty much time to go. I can't really stay much longer. I've got things to do. So it's been a pretty difficult session. Um, yeah, it's good to get to get one sort of on the last day just before we had to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, yeah, hit that thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Tight lines.